Uh, a DSP is, is basically going to be your digital signal processors. And so what they do is they actually, uh, they're going to give you the cleanest uh, and the best audio out of your mids and highs. And you can also tap them into your bass if you want to clean, clean up uh, the bass. It's also going to give you true voltage out for signal processing um, on your RCA inputs. So if your amplifier is really, really touchy and it wants to stay within a certain parameter, you definitely don't want to use the DSP because the voltage is going to be too high and you could blow your amplifier. So the input sensitivity you want to watch. Otherwise, if your amplifier can take higher sensitivities, then these are the way to go because they are going to give you true uh, input sense input output um, sensitivity for your amplifiers um, the reason why you would want to go with a DSP again is so that you can actually have um, better high fidelity uh, audio coming out of your, out of your speakers um, what do you look for in the DSP is ease of use can it be controlled uh, either uh, via um, iPhone or Android other things you want to look for are Bluetooth Bluetooth enabled and or USB uh, capability so that you can actually update the firmware or add or you can actually control it on the app that um, most of these will offer an app. An app. So PC tune is that if you're gonna if you don't have uh, readily available so that where you are on your phone then you can actually take these plug them into your computer you can actually uh, set the parameters on your computer or you can take your laptop with you and you can actually uh, plug it into the laptop and you can actually set your parameters that way. Important is gonna be two things. One is if you want, you wanna definitely clean up your audio so that you can get the best sound quality out of your system. And number two is input sensitivity. Um, a lot of it factors into um, what your amplifier can generate the best sound and the, and the best power overall. And if these, if most head units are going to be four volt uh, out. The problem with that is that some uh, amplifiers can't take four volts or they want more. And so that's why you want to go with a DSP because it'll give you that input sensitivity between a 0 0.2 to say an eight volt output out. That's the reason why you would want to go with a DSP. So my favorite DSP on the market is going to be your Audio Dynamics High Fidelity DSP 68. One for ease of use, uh, app control, built-in Bluetooth, um, also optical optical out so you can actually get the best quality now the difference between going from this particular one to say a more budget friendly one is that you would have to actually have a PC or a laptop uh, so that you can actually control it uh, via um, PC and so this way you can adjust it set it and then you can plug it into your vehicle now if you have to change any any settings this particular model you would have to hook it up to your computer whereas this one will be much simpler and it simplifies it because you'll be able to actually have an app that actually you can set your parameters. Uh, the first one uh, is going to be the machete, the machete line for deaf fonts uh, that's going to be the M8 DSP and then the second ones that we offer also are from DS18. Uh, you have the DSP 12i and then you also have their flagship line which is their 8.6i and then we're going to move over to our audio dynamics. Um, the 68, the DSP 68 Hi-Fi, um, and then also their flagship DSP 812. Yo, what's up guys? If you want to see more of the hot content that you just saw in that video, be sure to follow me on all my social media channels from YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, uh, TikTok, The Life of Price is my handle on there. I also have Down for Sound Shop on Facebook and Instagram, and don't forget Snapchat as JPD4S. Check out all the hot content on there as well.